<laughs> so I look at the camera or I look at you? Uh, you can look at me too. That works. Good one. Uh, your name, please. Uh, Daniel Villalobos. Uh, all right, Daniel, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to get started with how did you become involved with your profession? Profession? Uh, if you prefer, I rephrase it. How did you begin your career as an exorcist? Oh, as an exorcist? Well, one day I was walking down the road, pondering the great questions of life. Well, why are we here? Did I leave the stove on? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And then I came across this big old church, and something was compelling me to go inside. And then when I enter, I see this grand statue of our dear Lord and Savior. And this old man comes up to me and asks me to do his bidding. And what happened next? Uh, a priest asked me who I was speaking to. When I turned back, the man was gone. Is this your first encounter with the paranormal? So, when I was a child, when, when I was a child, I'm sorry, I'm fucking with you. Uh, I'm sorry? I'm fucking with you. There was no old man, there was no church, there was no priest, there was no big statue of Jesus Christ. Well, that's, that's definitely a disappointment. Listen, I've just always been able to see through the veil. I've sucked at everything else. This is the only thing that's been able to make me money in this life. And when you've seen the things that I've seen, when you've done the things that I've done, nothing really surprises you anymore. All right, so where are we going? We're going to make a house call. A certain Mr. Lee believes his daughter to be possessed. And what does a typical exorcism session entail for you? Well, I don't pull a cross out of my ass and dunk the poor girl in some priest piss. I go ahead and diagnose. I make sure that it is a demonic possession and not some poor girl in need of some psychiatric help. I'm, I'm sorry, Daniel. I, I, You don't sound like a church-ordained priest to me. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. I'm not. Come on, we're here. Hi, you must be Daniel. Nice to meet you. And this is? This is Fernando. He's making a documentary about my profession. Hello, Mr. Lee. Pleasure to meet you. It, it's Malcolm, but I didn't know you were going to be recording this. Don't worry, Fernando won't be getting in the way. Now let's take a look at your daughter. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Before you do, um, I don't know how to even explain this, but I kind of feel like she knew you were coming. Oh, good. Well, maybe now it has a fighting chance. I'm sorry? Uh, nothing. Nothing I haven't seen before. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Easy there, buttercup. Don't kiss your pants. Hey. Mary, right? Mary! Alright, tie her up. What kind of a priest are you? I'm not a priest. Right, come on, we don't have a lot of time. No thanks. I'm not a Republican. What kind of a priest is he? Uh, if you could please not acknowledge the camera, thank you. Dad! What's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Mr. Lee. Fuck. I keep doing it, don't I? Malcolm isn't going to be here to save you. So let's see who you really are. What's your name? Who are you? Dad, what's going on? Okay, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Let's see if that opens up. Close that door! Quiet! That's 
so boring. Let me put it in words that you can understand. Epigos Virginia Tum Salum Trade. I also wrecked the bed until I was 10. We spelled cat at my third grade spelling bee. Should we keep going on this reenactment of 8 Mile? I will rip you limb from limb! <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit. So I think I should thank you though, because that whole Shalomon stick, I know who you really are. Isn't that right, Ellipsigos? <laughs> now it's time to banish your ass back to me. Father, is it over? For the last father fucking time, I am not a priest. Yeah, it's over. She should be right as rain tomorrow. I can't thank you enough, Rob. Daniel. That's quite all right. And have your daughter acts up again? Do me a favor. Call me. I don't think she'll be causing much of a fuss tonight. She's out cold. Thank you. Hey, so earlier you said you were going to diagnose her. Uh, what was the diagnosis? She was possessed, clearly. Did you not see her? Uh, okay, well, what about that bottle? Uh, that seemed pretty spiritual. Was that like, you know, some sort of holy elixir or something like that? <laughs> no, that was just fun. All right, well, that's kind of disappointing. <sighs> Is something wrong? No, I'm just giving it a prostate exam. Yes, yeah, something's wrong. Not the butt there. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. <sighs> Everything alright? Unfortunately not. One of our lines are blown. It's not starting either. Do you know of any mechanics nearby? None this late. Well, looks like we're getting a taxi then. Listen, you're not going to find a taxi at this hour. I have a guest bedroom. Why don't we do this? You two boys stay with me tonight. In the morning, we'll get this all figured out. Sounds good to me. Let's go. All right. Well, that's the end of day one. Daniel passed out almost immediately. I don't know, something's bothering me though. I don't know, I guess it all just felt too easy, but I guess I should... What the fuck? That was all the footage. What the fuck? Look, man. Tell, tell me you got everything you needed, uh, and maybe we can cut out the bit at the end. Oh, oh, what bit? The the bit where a demon possessed girl crawled all over me and almost killed me, or or the part where you literally kicked a demon's ass. I mean, I don't know how that even works. Is this what every day is like for you? Uh, most days. Some are easier, some are harder, but there's only one way to find out.
die They wrap you up in a big white sheet From your head down to your feet They put you in a big black box And cover you up with dirt and rocks And all goes well for about a week And then your coffin begins to leak And the worms crawl in, the worms crawl out The worms play pinochle on your snout They eat your eyes, they eat your nose They eat the jelly between your toes A big green worm with rolling eyes Crawls in your stomach and out your eyes Your stomach turns a slimy green And pus pours out like whipping cream